So I haven't seen any content creator talk about this, and I think this is an interesting angle to take. I personally didn't even consider this, but I guess somebody, some, I'm willing to bet somebody at Polarium was like, hey, I know we're focusing on destroying the Wixwill Trunda teams, depowering some champions, and buffing Hydra. Yeah, that's one way to look at it. Not everybody's going to see it that way. Whatever. That's not the conversation. But I bet somebody at Polarium was like, hey, you know, another plus to this, even though this wasn't our goal, another plus is people are going to be more so encouraged, quote-unquote, incentivized, quote-unquote, to do Live Arena. Intelligent Fun, 3525. I guess those Live Arena Hydra area bonuses have become even more crucial now. Very casually did Live Arena to acquire them in the past because I was able to progress fairly well without them. But now I think they become almost mandatory, right? I'd rather miss out on the weekly 1.2 billion chests than play Live Arena. It is so slow. I do everything I can to make it as easy as possible. First, I never manual. I always auto. I pick my teams, let it run while I do other things, come back, do the same. I could win more if I was so more, uh, so much more involved, but I'll sacrifice wins for ease. I like that. It still can take two to three minutes waiting for some slow guy in team select. That's a big nope. Yep, they really need to change this. It takes way too long. The drafting process takes way too long. I, like 30 seconds per champion shouldn't be it. I feel like it should be 10 seconds per champion. Like ramp up, ramp this up, make the times shorter. Also between choosing our attacks, between choosing our moves. And I feel like that'll be just an overall better experience for Live Arena. Because the more intense it is, the more it feels like an actual Live Arena. If they wanted to get more universal participation, they're going to have to put in a way to auto team select. Cue the guys whining, but it says live. Yeah, we see that. That doesn't mean people want to do it. Raid isn't still legit PvP. I don't know what, I don't understand this part. Raid still isn't legit PvP. Only one more win left before we get Quintus. Ah, not fast enough. Almost, but not quite cardio almost transforms marius does his thing every time a mythical champion transforms so there's that block buffs going up we can cleanse though she's gonna hit her a3 i think and then roll into her a2 and then we have to worry about wukong taking his turn there you go i would have sheeped somebody but you know that works too all right so i want to focus down on siffy first and then I'm going to take care of Eostrid. I'm not too worried about this guy. Um, well, ma mainly because I, I don't know what he does. So, oh, well, you know, it doesn't really matter. But there it is, guys. We finally got Quintus. Look at that. But yeah, I, I can see people don't want to do it. I don't want to do it. And if you're the guy who likes doing Live Arena and you can compete at Gold 3 and 4, good for you. There's people out there who enjoy Live Arena and I'm not trying to knock anybody's entertainment, you know, take your joy wherever you can. Me personally and the greater majority of people that I've talked to don't really fuck with Live Arena. That's why I made a video showing how I do my Live Arena stuff where I basically just and this is mainly because of Marius. Before Marius missions, I wasn't really into Live Arena. What I was doing was I was purposely dropping Live Arena rank, purposely losing matches, and not taking win streaks so that I could get easy fights. Yeah, you're stepping on next, but at the same time, it's just like, it's a, it's a temporary thing. Like, I'm not going to spend a long time fighting a guy struggling because I'm just not that guy. Like, I don't have that skill. I don't have that kind of account. I'm not a competitive guy. I don't gain any gratification from fighting guys who are quote unquote real players or real raiders but if that's you cool dude good for you my suggestion is to play live arena for fun if an opponent chooses an opponent you dislike i would have just said champion that's a weird way to say it if an opponent chooses an opponent you dislike armands just leave if opponent is on another level compared to you instantly leave that way the matches you play are fun and fast that's one way to take it yeah this is the way. I used to hate Live Arena because I was so focused on winning once I started playing for fun. And this is a huge thing, right? I even came out with a video talking about how Live Arena is so much more fun when you're playing for fun and you're not really stressing about it. Having some decently built Arena champs that began to play more and climb. 400 points from Quintus. Good job, Crisscross Applesauce. Tips for people who struggle in PvP. There's always someone faster than you. It's easier to build the Ghost Second Team. It doesn't matter how strong your Nuker is if he's dead. Or I would say if he's slow. Because if your nuker is too slow and you can't take a turn, it doesn't matter how hard he hits. Build them in stone skin and go from there. This is good advice right here. 
Build your new Grin Stone Skin, one, one turn Stone Skin. Four piece Supersonic is amazing to give to your speed champs. That's what my Armand's is in. If you're slower than their booster, four piece Supersonic gives you a fighting chance to cut in. Exactly. Triple cancel battle for a free bot win two times. Yes. Uh, I think somebody told me there's no bots in gold live arena. True, plus 20 ignore defense and 30% crit damage is massive. I only do live arena during missions and it's brutal. Fixied, live arena by making Hydra suck more. Sincerely yours, Hilarium. Live arena does not exist as far as I'm concerned. I would rather cripple my account in multiple areas than subject myself to the cancer that is known as live arena. Mandatory in what sense? They aren't at all necessary to hit 1.2 billion, which is the target I think the vast majority of players are aiming for. The only people I know who really cared about maxing those bonuses were people running Trunda teams because the bonuses could really compound the damage on those squads. For everyone else, getting some bonuses is nice, but hardly important. It depends on how steep the drop off is for some of those Hydra changes when they go live. Some will be fine. Many others are going to need those area bonuses. We'll know for the next reset. That's not what mandatory means. Of course, the bonuses are going to help, of course, some player is going to do 1.19 bill, and some of those bonuses would have got them to 1.2. But the same could be said of how mythical gear is now mandatory, or high level blessings are mandatory, or any of the other 20 ways champion powers can be incrementally increased. Live arena bonuses for Hydra are no more important than they were before, but they were never important to begin with. Let's say mandatory for some. Happy? <laughs> no time, these guys. Jesus Christ, bro. There's still some... Okay. Uh, if you want to focus on one word I used and beat it to death, then fine. If you're already fairly advanced in Hydra and do billions in damage, it'll likely be business as usual. But if you're struggling with progression, which is an awful lot of players, then this Hydra change will likely push, uh, will push them further back. Yeah, I guess, I, guess I, I, I can hear where he's coming from. They are important. You keep lying to yourself because you're lazy and don't want another area of the game to grind. Yeah, exactly. That's, an, that's another thing. But hell, dude. I'm a I'm a lazy guy too. I'm fucking lazy as shit. So I'd be I'd be in this category. I I'm gonna lie to myself because I am lazy and I fucking own that shit. And I don't want to fuck around with another area of the game that I don't enjoy. If I enjoyed it, then I'd do it. But yeah, if I don't like it, I have no incentive to do it. Other than I was chasing Marius, right? And I'll do live arena battles here and there for you guys just because it's 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 fun when you guys can point out <laughs> my mistakes or when I do something that's actually cool or like I do a big brain move and someone's and someone says something like, oh, wow, that was a big brain move. And I'm over here like, yeah, 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 I, I, I did that on purpose. Yeah. You, you know what I mean? <laughs> Live arena uh, needs its time halved or maybe more than that. Exactly. It takes forever, even if people are selecting champions. In battle, I keep saying to myself, how on earth does someone take so long to tap their fucking screens twice? Exactly. This guy never does it. No, it's like I said, it's all those myst myst mysticals? Mythicals. Mythical. Everyone is so easily obtaining and running around with because they surely wouldn't judge difficulty on something pretty much only Karens, uh, Krakens, and the extremely lucky would have. You got the lights on.